I say good day to everyone in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. This is Arise, Shine, Apostolic and Deliverance Ministries. You are welcome joining us. And uh, I'm Bishop Presadi Gold. Right now I want us to say our faith declaration again as we raise our Bible standing or we raise our right hand and we declare our faith declaration that says, I believe in the word of God. I believe in what it says I am. I believe in the anointing of the Holy Spirit to do exploit for him. Lord, let it be to faith in me and let it produce fruits of righteousness, of holiness, and have godliness, and divine favor forever. In Jesus' name, Amen. Let's be seated. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And uh, I want to pray again. Father, in the name of Jesus, just take this moment for yourself. Speak to us your undiluted word. Let it go to the ends of the earth. Let ears that hear it begin to move, begin to activate your word. Hallelujah. To the glory of your name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I want us to open our Bibles to the book of Hebrews, chapter 11. And the theme that I'm looking at today is raising spiritual giants in the nation. Raising spiritual giants in the nation. Some people might be wondering about she recently spoke about spiritual warriors. Yes, there are many spiritual warriors, but there are few spiritual giants. There are many spiritual warriors. As soon as you become a child of God, you are praying daily, you are seeking God's face, you, you believe in the kingdom of the devil, you are praying to, 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 to break powers of darkness, uh -huh. whether uh, defensively or offensively, you are a spiritual warrior. But there are some persons that God has raised up beyond those that they are the eagles of the Christian faith, those that soar, those that do excellently for God by the power of God, by the anointing of God, those are the people that are being referred to as the spiritual giants. They are the giants of the Christian faith. Hallelujah. I want to read from verse 25 to 40. To Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Amen. That is Hebrews chapter 11 from verse 12. Sorry, chapter 11 from verse 24, I should say. By faith, Moses, when he was come to years, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, chosen rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season, esteeming the reproach of Christ's greater riches than the treasures in Egypt, for he had respect unto the recompense of the reward. By faith, he forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of the king, for he endured as seeing him who is invisible. Through faith, he kept the Passover and the sprinkling of blood, lest he that destroyed the firstborn should touch them. By faith, they passed through the Red Sea, as by dry land, which the Egyptians are saying to do were drowned. By faith, the walls of Jericho fell down after they were compassed about seven days. By faith, the hand of Rahab perished not with them that believed not when she had received the spice with peace. And what shall I not say? For the time will fail me to tell of Gideon and of Barak and of Samson and of Jephthah and of David also and Samuel and of the prophet, who through faith subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, Obtain promises, stop the mouth of lions, quench the violence of fire, escape the edge of the sword, out of weakness were made strong, waxed valiant in fight, turned to fight the armies of the aliens. Women received their anger, their dead, back to life. Hallelujah. Again. And others were tortured, not accepting deliverance, that they might obtain a better resurrection. And others are trials of cruel mockings and scourges, yea, moreover, uh -huh, of bonds and imprisonment. They were stoned. They were sown asunder, my God. They were tempted, my God. They were slain with a sword. They wandered about in sheepskins and goatskins, being destitute, afflicted, tormented, 
of whom the world was not worthy. They wandered in deserts and in mountains and in depths and caves of the earth. And this all, having obtained a good report through faith, received not their promise. God having provided some better things for us, that they without us should not be made perfect. My God, you know, I, 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 I so much for many years since I've been saved, when I read this book of Hebrews, my God, when I'm reading, especially from 33, verse 33 that says, Who through faith subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouth of lies, quenched the violence of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, out of weakness were made strong. But, my God, by the time I'm reading that, it's like something inside me, something is kicking inside me. He said, Oh, Jesus Christ, these people, they wrote brilliantly, they walk brilliantly. Oh, my God, nothing can stop them. Hallelujah. Amen. These are spiritual giants. Spiritual giants. Hallelujah. The season that we are in demands, my God, it demands spiritual giants to rise up. What am I saying? More than just spiritual warriors. Uh -huh. We need spiritual giants because those are the leaders. Hallelujah. Those are the leaders of the Christian faith. Those are the ones that take the faith to another level. That the enemy cannot stand in front of them any at all. Hallelujah. The spiritual warriors, uh -huh, they are the ones, yes, that this nation needs, Jamaica needs them. The whole wide world needs spiritual warriors. People have been saying some things that the Pope said some things about, uh, 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 about, uh, about God, the homosexual. So I, I, I have something, I saw something on Facebook where the Pope was made, I mean, made a statement that you don't need to, 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 to call on God to go to heaven. And I was like, really? And then recently I've been hearing people talking about what he said about the, the homosexuality and so on and so forth. And I was like, oh my God, have mercy on him. Have mercy on him. But he is, in his own case, he has followers. It has impact in this world. But then we need a spiritual giant that will rise up, hallelujah, to oppose somebody like that. It doesn't mean that the spiritual warriors are, 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 cannot rise up, cannot pray against that and, and whatever he has said, not to make impact, not to be established. But people to rise up, people to consult him, people to say, oh, you're doing your wrong. You need to repent. We need spiritual giant to do that. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Any church, any nation right now, any group of people need spiritual giants. They are those who mount up with wings as eagles. They are the eagles uh -huh, of the Christian faith. They are the lions of the Christian faith. They are the gorillas uh -huh, of the Christian faith. God said to me a few years ago to raise giants of faith in the congregation. But now, He want me to raise this giant in this nation. Raise them in the nation. Yes. Not, I just mentioned to my church that not only Jamaica, uh, right now that I've been doing teaching, uh, Bible study and stuff, even in Pakistan. Pakistan is an Islamic nation. A few years ago, somebody called me there, up till now, you see calling me mommy, mommy, I want you to come to Pakistan. People are calling me in the nations of Africa, in Kenya, they are calling me. In all different, different kinds of nations that I cannot be mentioning them right now, they need this teaching. They need to rise up. There was a particular pastor from a particular nation calling me in Africa. And when I prayed about it, he wanted to come last year. He wanted me to go, rather, last year. And when I was praying, God said, they need to pray more. They need to pray more. Because there are some powers in that nation. Oh my God, some witches in that nation. They are so wicked. That if they rise up, if I should go there and make noise, Jesus Christ, that they... They, right there, I know God has clouded me with his anointing. He put his anointing because when he sent, he anoint. Hallelujah. But they, they are not. Hallelujah. They need to rise up more than they have ever been. Hallelujah. God said to me, yes, as I said to you, raise them. Raise them in the nations of the world. As, as the world has been given this year, theme of the year is going before, I mean, beyond the limit. Going beyond the limit. So, in other words, God has, has watched God and have the way I have not uh, uh, been active before. He has made that to happen this year. I've been able to do deliverance for people through Zoom by Zoom. Hallelujah. Those who cannot come to Jamaica and so on and so forth. I've been able to do certain things that I don't know what to do. I mean, uh, COVID-19 is very bad. It's not good. But God, God has opened some opportunities and God knew that this is going to happen. And He prepared the world. I mean, uh, 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 technologically, 
he prepared this world, which is why everybody learned computer before now, and if they ask you in the years before, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, why do you want to learn computer? Maybe we might not even be able to explain it as much as it is right now. Even our schools are shut down because of COVID-19. So praise be to God that at this time, God told me, arise, shine, for the light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. He said, the darkness has covered the earth and gross darkness the people, but you shall arise. I remember last year for my birthday, I just heard as I was waking up, I was woken up which I don't see the person again and he told me, gave me the same person. Arise! And since then, he's been telling me, arise! Hallelujah. And so I said to God, I didn't know I didn't, I, I didn't know I was sitting down. I didn't know my God, I've been sleeping. My God, but God said, arise. Hallelujah. So not only to this nation, but other nations as well. Those who can do extraordinary, people of reckless faith, people of reckless faith, people that are ready to subdue kingdoms, as we have read it right here in Hebrews uh, uh, chapter 11, people who will march forward like giants, people who shall march forward, that nothing can stop them, they march forward like giants. And when, when, when I was preparing this sermon last night, just as God has done two years ago, he gave me the, 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 that passage, and as I continuously tell you, God said, this book, I mean, he said, I should tell his people about it, you need to get your own copy, and I, I'm telling you, he said to me, chapter 8, two years ago, when he, he gave me that same message about uh, uh, raising giants uh, in the congregation, and now he said to me, raise the giants in the nations. And then he told me again, as I sat down by my laptop last night, he said, I'm going to show you something. I will give you a vision. And when I went to my room, I don't remember what, I, I actually went to my room to take this book. And as I took it, and I opened again to chapter 8, I saw the late Bishop Dr. Joseph Arrigo just, I saw his back just enter through a door. And I came to myself. And he said, yes, that is all we need to see. Because the same thing happened two years ago when he told me to preach this sermon. Because why? He told me where to read. He said, in every continent of the world, that is page 86, chapter 8, in, in every continent of the world, God has chosen men and women of, as spiritual warriors. Some have come and gone. Some are still in the battlefield, such as you and I. That was what actually he said to me. He said, Saul has come and gone. That was two years ago. And before I knew it, I saw my late husband just enter into a door. I just saw his back. I didn't see his face. But, but I knew it was, I just saw him back. And God said to me, yes, now it's your turn. And I'm saying to someone, it's your turn. He has gone. Some of them, yes, they have gone. I have such as you and I, who are ready to trash down the gates of hell. When others are yet to come in their generations, and God said, raise them, raise them. Uh -huh. There are general spiritual warriors and there are specific or outstanding ones who have lived exemplary lives that you and I should emulate for successful warfare ministries. I do not purport that these spiritual giants are without weaknesses that make some to fail. Notwithstanding, many of them overcame some of their weaknesses and succeeded. Jesus is the only perfect or infallible one who has ever lived. Hallelujah. As Hebrews chapter 4, verse 15 has put it. Many books have been uttered about some of these outstanding spiritual warriors. For the purpose of my writing, I would like to take a look, uh -huh, which I'm not really looking into a lot of them right now, but I want to just say something else, uh -huh, you know, that there in a lot of I mean, times, some of these people's spiritual giants, in fact, they actually give them names. They give them names. They become heroes of Christian faith or heroines of Christian faith and have the source of their inspiration. And why they earn their nickname by which they were popularly known is God. Their outstanding achievement have as a result of the awesome manifestation of the gift of the Holy Spirit in them. Just as in the case of the biblical heroes and heroines of faith, such as Abraham, who was called the father of faith because of his firm faith in God, having been, been tested and tried. King David was nicknamed a man after God's own heart because of his love for God. And genuine 
brokenness after his transgression. De Deborah was recognized as a prophet and a judge, prophesying for, prophesying for and judging Israel, and a woman of valor for leading Israel to war during the time of Barak, the son of Abino. My God, the list goes on. When I was a child, growing up with my maternal grandfather, his name, Elder Abraham Ajili, now deceased. My first generation of spiritual warrior. Looking back, I could recognize that that man was my first generation of spiritual warrior. A prominent leader of Christ's Apostolic Church in my village back in Nigeria. Uh -huh. That was where I got my first exposure to spiritual warfare as a child. It was commonly reported by, by I mean, at that time, uh -huh, that the pastor of that church, the late Pastor Abolari, uh -huh, the pastor of that church then always referred uh -huh, to an apostle that started the founder of the Christ Apostolic Church in Nigeria. Uh -huh, he always referred to him as a spiritual giant. His life was extra extraordinary. That on one occasion, when he was praying on a mountain, there came a big snake from the bushes. Having been disturbed by Apostle Joseph Babalola's prayer, at this point, by spiritual instinct, he opened his eye and saw the snake with his head up, looking at him. He was not perturbed. He continued his prayer. And at a point, he turned around to look at the snake, only to see that it had moved closer to him, as if to bite him. But the sweat dropped from his body, running down like red drops, and touched the snake and dried it up. What a powerful spiritual giant. This reminds me of Jesus praying in the Garden of Eden. And so what am I saying? God wants you. Maybe God has been calling you to do more than an ordinary servant. To do more than just to pray and, and, and something happened in your church. Maybe he's calling you out to go out there to march down the territory. The, 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 the territories of the wicked, wicked, wicked people in this nation. The astrologers, the psychics, the palm readers, those who are deceiving people. My God. Somebody was telling me just, just last week, she came to see me for deliverance. She was saying that, you know, uh, she gave her life to the Lord a long time and she, you know, sweetly serving God, but as she was going on a particular uh, place one day, somebody stopped him and said, you know, there is something I want to tell you about your life. And the person said, oh, I, I, I'm not an Obiama. I am not an Obiama, but there is something right now God wants me to tell you. And then now she, being gullible, listen. <laughs> and the man told her things, and she said to me, Believe you me, some things that he said, they were true. Things that were happening to me. And then he said to me, Come to my, to so so and so place. That's where I live, and I'm going to tell you more. By the time the woman went there, I asked her, did you really go there? She said, yes, she went there. By the time she went there, the man slept with her. I said, I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. There are some persons, and I'm saying to everybody, to someone, that people that are praying, they, they become pray, they are pre those people are predators. They prey on people, women especially, my God, as the book of Timothy has put it. Like, I mean, these people, they, they, they take advantage of people who will not look at things at left, right, and center, who will not check out things properly. People that are not really led by God, they listen to everything, everybody. I mean, every, anybody can tell them things and they just believe it. My God, that was it. She went there and then that happened to her. And from that time, she had been having problems upon problems in her life. The spiritual giants are people of unshakable faith. It does not matter what. You can throw them in the fire like the three Hebrew boys. They're still going to stand still. Hallelujah. Yes, there is a clear, as I was writing this last night, I had clarion call. Clarion call that I should raise the alarm. That let the people of God join together. Let them join together. Let and let the battles of Christian faith be passed. When somebody who is a giant is going, is, is, is living, this world, let them pass the battle. Don't die with it. Do not own it. Do not be selfish. Hallelujah. Raise the others in your congregation. Raise them. Do not be afraid and say they are going to take over from me. I'm telling you, if you are
you are a spiritual giant, they will leave and you will stay. <laughs> it doesn't matter how they steal, they cannot, they will not, because they have not been able to overcome the people in the Bible, in the biblical era. Those who rise up against them go down. So do not be afraid. Train the people. Raise them up because the, the, the evil that has come up against us need many people to rise up to confront them. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory on God. God said, I must tell his people, yes, to rise up, I have to wreck the powers. Let us be born together to wreck the powers of darkness across the nations of the world. Uh -huh. People are, uh, they, they, they are, they are, some people, right now, sinners, uh -huh, I would say, are running faster than we can catch up with them to the kingdom of darkness and my God, and they are laying up treasures for the kingdom of darkness. God said, rise up and snatch them from the hands of the, of the evil one, the hands of the one that is too strong for them. My God, my God, the clarion call is a, 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 a strongly expressed demand. Okay? I had checked in the dictionary, is a strongly expressed demand or request for action. I do not know. In other words, God wants us to rise up and take action. Rise up and pray that you have never prayed before. Hallelujah. God is calling everyone to be obedient to his word. Those who will do the things of God without looking back. Uh, that if God said, put your foot out, you are ready to put it out. You are not going to listen to your friend. My goodness, Lord. I remember in those days, Jesus Christ, in my, in my uh, former church, or previous church, I should say, there are some persons who, uh, the church need money to do things. And I, 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 I don't want to limit the, 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 the calling of a spiritual giant to be just only uh, to, to, to preach and to preach. Finances is part of it. Material is part of it. People of God that can do things, Launch out. Do it. Whatever God tells you to do, you can get something right, right now. How do you reach China? How do you speak to somebody in Pakistan? How do I speak to... It's by Zoom. So somebody who has the technological know-how, hallelujah, it makes that possible by making so it's not only just the preaching, but some other stuff. Aha. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those who will rise up, those who will do the things of God without looking back, my God, those who will kill every serpent, every poisonous ass, every spiritual monkey, my God, and crush them to death in Jesus' name. Why do I say that? God said, has given us the power to trade upon serpents, upon scorpions, and upon other, and upon every powers of darkness, and they shall by no means hurt us. My God, those who will not be afraid. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power. Of love and of a sound mind. Hallelujah. The spiritual giants are those who pray like never before. They don't care. If you wake them up, my God, to pray, they are ready to pray. They, they, my God, it doesn't matter how, 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 oh my goodness, how, how drowsy they are, how sleepy they are. If you call them to pray, they are ready to do it. Maybe it's to save someone. Maybe it's to prevent something evil from happening. They are ready to do it. My God, they use their Bibles like flames. Jesus Christ. Some of them, if you look at their Bibles, it's old because they use it, they use it, they use it. They, Jesus Christ. And they quote the Bible. When they speak, they squeeze, I mean, speak scriptures. Hallelujah. Wow. Wow. Just like the uh, Jehoshaphat armies uh -huh, that wrote words. Just by the blowing, my God, and the sinking, my God, every, the, the word of Jericho came down just like that. Hallelujah. Those who will confuse the satanists, uh, those who will confuse the witches, those who will confuse the obia workers, those who will confuse, I mean, uh, confuse the astrologers, those who will confuse the sight, the criminal elements. Right, Jesus Christ, at this point I want to say something. Somebody called me, and it's not just that person. Someone called me from Montego Bay last week and said, I was reading your article in the Greenland. I knew your husband. I didn't even know that he died, and I'm sorry to hear about that, but when I was reading it, I know that boy, I, 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 I had to call him. And I said, what, what was happening? He, he, he said, in, the, in, in Montego Bay right now, these commas, these commas are going for rings, rings. They, 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 they got rings. They are going for God rings right now, and they are proud about it, and they are saying it, and they are showing it, and they, my God, and, and that at a particular time of the night, there is 
a noise from certain communities where most of them are, I mean, resides. She he called it the Oles, the, the, the voice of Oles. Oles is, is a bird, bird creature. I have that so, uh, some noise coming from that direction. And so he said he doesn't know what to do. And I was telling him that we need to pray. And I was asking him to call, even for the conference, yes, 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 that we need to pray that God will use him. Uh, hallelujah. God is going to use him. He's going to use him. And I'm saying this to everybody. Anytime when I call conferences, I want you to come because God wants you to be trained to become spiritual warriors and spiritual giants. Because some people have giants in their mind. Some people are carrying heavily the, 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 the authority of being a giant in them and they are not doing anything with it. And some people are saying, because there's no money, they are not going to go back and do it. Islam is taking over. They, they do not let them take over. I had uh, some dreams some, some weeks ago that I was having a conference, and, and be, by the time we took a break in the conference to resume back, uh, like, like a 10 minutes conference, by the time I look at the next hall beside me, it was filled with a lot of Muslims. And I saw some of the people that they supposed to just go to the back and come back. They were going there, and I was like, what is this? And I woke up. God wants us to rise up. Crush the court. Shut down court in Jamaica. Religious court and all kinds of courts. Uh -huh. And the list goes on all kinds of courts. Yes. Uh -huh. Those who will take Jamaica by force. Matthew 11, 12 says, from the time of John, the Baptist up till now, he said the kingdom of heaven summers violence and the violence are taking it by force. My God, take Jamaica from the heart of those who are too strong for her, those who will intercept any enemy activities, any demonic activities in people's sleep, people that will intercept every demonic assignment, that will intercept every principalities and powers that are on assignment against this territory, that will intercept, it doesn't matter if it, even if it is in the world. Hallelujah. Woo! Hallelujah. Those who will somersault the vehicles of wickedness that before they reach you, before they reach you, you somersault their vehicles in the name of Jesus. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Those who will raise the banner of the kingdom of God, uh -huh. it is fire for fire. Those are the giants of faith. Fire for fire. They walk, they step by faith. They take steps of faith. They walk as giants. Hallelujah. Fire for fire. Let him be. Uh -uh. Uh, Elijah said, uh, the God that answered by fire, he said, let him be God. There are some giants that are sleeping. And I'm saying, wake up. God is saying, wake up, giants that are sleeping. Wake up. It is time to take the kingdom by force. It is time to take back Jamaica. It is time to take back the territories of the earth by force. Take back our territories. And I want to pray right now. Father Lord, I pray, your word has gone out. Let it take over the people. Let the impact be great. Raise up spiritual giants. Uh -huh. People that you have called, who have neglected, who are sleeping. Wake them up. Hallelujah. Let them take over the nations of this world. Let them take over Jamaica. None will know. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And I'm saying to you, in case you need training, the Global Bible College is right here. 15 packet of plaza at Arisha, Apostolic and Universal Ministry. And if you need help, something is oppressing you, depressing you, suppressing you, obsessing you, possessing you, and all kinds of things. I'm saying we do deliverance right here. And if you have no church, or if you have been, uh, if, if you are a soldier that has fallen down and need help, call this place. Come to this place. Fellows and brothers, the Lord bless you.
Do you like what you have been hearing? Do you find the discussion interesting? Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and hit that notification bell before you leave.